Hi guys, it's me Stace. I am back again today with another Cricut Explore video and today we are doing our 3D Thursday project. And for today I thought we would go to make a little home decor item. This is just a little coffin box. You can certainly use it for a treat container if you want, but I thought why not go ahead and make something for the house for just, you know, just a fun little Halloween decoration. The coffin itself comes from the Cricut Artiste cartridge. I do apologize, this one's not available in the monthly subscription plan through Cricut. I mean, there's other coffin boxes you guys can choose from. I just really like this one. The mummy on the front is from Mini Monsters. The tag is free. We're also going to use the Cricut marker to go and write boo on that. And I have his, his arms coming out like that, so he's kind of like 3D. All right, let's go ahead and go to the computer, and we will get started. All right, at the computer, you want to go to cricut.com slash design. You're going to see this screen here, upper left-hand corner, where it says account. Click on that to sign in, and then enter in your email and your password. And then when you see your name in that green box, that verifies you are logged in. Next, you want to go to create new project. Left-hand side toolbar, insert images. I'm going to click on cartridges. In the search box, I'm going to type in artiste. And then view the images and then scroll down to find the coffin box, which is right there. I'm going to close out the cartridge search and go back to images. In the search box here, I'm going to type in the word coffin. So you guys can see there is there are free ones in the subscription plan. You have one here which is from Life's a Party and one there from Happy Haunting. So either one of those coffins will work. Right back into my search box, I'm going to type in the word mummy. Hit enter. I'm going to grab this little guy there from Mini Munsters. And one more time in the search box, I'm typing in the word ticket. And then just grabbing this one here and that is from Mission View Image Set. All right, I'm going to go back and insert the images to my mat. So we have our coffin, our mummy, and our ticket. And you'll see the coffin comes in two pieces. I'm leaving it the way it is. I'm going to scoot it all the way up to my left hand corner, use the handles to resize it. Now I'm going to get this to be as tall as I, I, ca I can onto 8.5 by 11 piece of cardstock. So I'm going to go down to about 10.5, and that is fine. All right now I'm going to take my mummy and move him over. I'm going to right click on him to move the front. And this is the top of the box, this is the bottom. I'm again using the handles to resize him. And there's not a certain size I'm going for, just kind of eyeballing it here. I'm lining up the bottom of him with that bottom score mark, which is where he's going to go on my box. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. Now we have our ticket. I'm going to go to my layer panel and find the ticket. Down here, I'm going to click on the ticket itself and change that color to be white. And then resize this one. Oops, right click on it, move to front. And get it where you like it. I'm going to unlock it so I can kind of make it my own shape. I think my last ticket was kind of big, so I'm leaving that one about that size. I'm going to go to my left hand side toolbar, add text, type in the word boo with an exclamation point. And then go over here in my edit panel with my font selected change that to has a writing style. That's where we can write it with our marker. And I'm leaving it on the default Cricut alphabet font. Bring that on our ticket. Again, I'm going to unlock it. Just so I can kind of play around with how I like it. All right, that looks pretty good. Now what I want to do is move my coffin out of the way and my mummy. Take my left mouse button across the word boo and our ticket. Right click on it to attach. Oops, one more time. Right click to attach. That's going to attach the text to our shape. And bring all that back here. And just double check that we like the sizes. Right now on my sync panel, you'll notice there's a bunch of colors. We have the box, the two box pieces right there, our mummy, which is going to be black. So I'm going to go to my layer panel, find this piece in my mummy, change that to be black. This piece also is black. And the part that goes over him, the white part, I'm going to change that to be white. Okay, now let's go back to our go. Just so we can see how many mats we need. Looks like we need four mats. So we need one for the black part of the mummy, one for the top of the box, one for the bottom, and then one for the white. I'm going to go to click on go, cut these out, meet at the table, and we'll put, we'll put it together. <clears throat> Alright guys, we're back. All of our pieces are cut out. I'm going to first bring in a piece of scrap paper and work on the mummy first. 
So we have that piece, this one, the two white pieces, his face part, the eyes, and more eyes. All right, what I'm going to do first is grab my ink. I'm using basic gray ink with a sponge just to kind of grunge up these pieces here. First, just line them up, make sure I'm working the right part. Okay, just kind of, you know, kind of just blot them on there. This way they're not so white. Okay, I'm gonna do the same with his eyes. I ink the edges really good. And then just kind of go over them. And with the other eye. Itty bitty piece. All right, we're good there. Now we're gonna go and assemble them. I'm gonna take the back of this. Put a little bit of glue on it. And you'll see the score marks on here where he goes. Really easy to put together. All right, then this piece. toward the bottom. Okay. All right, now that we have his eyes, go ahead and put them on there. And plus, I think, because you're going white on white, I think it helps to kind of ink them up a little bit so they're more defined. But you don't need to do that if you don't want to. I just think mummies should not be clean. They should be kind of mummy-like. All right. Now I have the little eyes, and what I'm going to do for that is just put a little dollop of glue right there and use my little um, quick pick tool. Pick those up and just kind of dot in that glue and then bring them over here and place them on. Otherwise I'll spend forever and a day fiddling with it. Okay, this mouth. Yeah. I'm just going to hold that with my hand. Put a little bit of glue on it. Okay, and then plop that on there where he goes. And our mummy guy is done. We're going to flip him over. Put some glue on the back. Pick him up. And then grab this piece and line him up. Super cute. I love this little mummy guy. Alright, we're going to let him go. He's all done. We're going to set him aside. I'm going to fold my paper up only because I got glue there. I'm going to do the same thing with the tag. I'm going to take your ink and just kind of make it not so white. I'm also going to take my scissors and go around the edges and kind of rough those up as well. Okay, and my ink. Now we have the actual pieces for our coffin. I'm going to do the same thing. Just kind of go over it with my ink pad, just kind of dotting it around. Again, this is a basic gray cardstock by Stampin' Up, and I'm using the basic gray ink. And I find just by doing this, it makes it look more like stone, like a coffin would be. You don't need to go real heavy. Just kind of all the way around it. All right, and the same for the other piece. And again, this is optional. You don't need to do this. You don't want to. kind of bouncing the sponge around. Okay, done with that and that. All right, now we're going to go ahead and crease on our square marks. Just going to finger press them real quick. Get the little tabs on the end. Now we'll come back with the bone folder and give them a nice and sharp crease. Bone quarter, go over each one. A little time consuming doing this, but I do find that when you crease them really well, your box will lay a lot better. The tabs 
as well. Okay, I forgot a tab right here. Okay, so that one's done. I do the same thing for this box as well. I just kind of finger press them a little bit just to get the crease started. Make sure you get all your tabs. bone folder and give each one a nice crisp edge on them. I think like a set of three of these maybe in different um, heights would look really cute for a Halloween display. Maybe on the bottom of them you can put like a little bit of cheesecloth or something. Something spooky. Alright, we are done with all that. Now we're going to take our glue. I'm just using Tombow glue and I'm put glue on each one of these little flaps here. You can of course use score tape if you want to. I've already got this out. Just line up the corners and hold it for a minute. Let the glue kind of set up. Then we have this tab right here. I'm going to flip it and do this tab as well while I'm, while I'm there. Line that one up. And that one. Just make sure you're lining up all your corners. This way the top will fit on the right way. Alright, this little tab. Any kind of glue squeezes out, I'm just going to wipe it off. Okay, and then we have this tab here. And last, that tab there. And tuck that one in. Line that one up, and that one. You just kind of take your fingers and just press the glue onto the cardstock. Okay, so there's the bottom of our box. Do the same thing with the top. Just go around through all your tabs. Lining up the side. Just hold it there for a minute. Let the glue set up a little bit. Okay. This tab here. So it goes together really quick. This tab of glue, that's like really a strong glue. I do like it. I just find it very sticky. Like once you get it on your fingers, it ain't going off until you go in there and wash them. And another little tab right here. I don't normally decorate for Halloween too much. Now Halloween around here is not like it used to be when I was a kid. When I was a kid, you know, we would go out three or four times, come back home, change costumes, and come home with like a pillowcase full of candy. Nowadays, you're lucky if you see five kids trick-or-treat. It's kind of sad because it is a fun holiday. All right, so our coffin box is done and my fingers are kind of all glued together. Now just simply put the top on. It will all line up nice for you. Isn't that cute? All right, now for our little mummy guy. We're going to flip them over and put um, foam tape or dimensionals we're going to use on the back. I'm going to do two up front, and then one on each of the bottom feet there. I'm going to do another one. I don't want to come in off. I give all them a little squish, and before I take it off, I'm going to take my bone folder very lightly and go over his arms a little bit to kind of give him that little curve. So it looks like he's coming out like, ah, kind of thing. Just be careful. It is, it is paper. You don't want to tear it. Okay. Right, take all the backing off of these. That one dimensional paper is sticking to my finger. Okay. And take your box. 
And I'm going to line them down at the bottom. So it looks like you stand in there. I'm going to actually open it up a little bit and then go ahead and give them a press. Make sure they're on there really good. Okay. Last we have our boo sign. And again, that's going to go on dimensionals or pop dots or foam tape. Whatever, right? And we're going to plop him up here. You're going to make that go behind him. If you are a messy craft like I am, this is a great project because it does not matter where ink goes. It kind of adds to the box. All right, go ahead and put that back. How cute is he? I absolutely love that monkey, that mummy. I was going to call him mummy. But there you have it, guys. Today's little project. Super cute and really easy. Um, the finished box, this size, is about 7 inches tall. But there you have it. Uh, any questions at all, please let me know. As always, thanks so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.